Hello guys, now I will present you this interesting scam that is kind of recent for a couple of months. Uh, so I get those emails about one or two times every week. So this scam is when somebody is presenting themselves as a collector of art, of N NFT art. NFT means non-fundable token, but whatever, it doesn't matter that much. The idea is that uh, NFTs are not so familiar, so people are using that to kind of scam. So they uh, tell you that they want to buy your works and they are usually specific by which works from your RStation profile they want to acquire. That's why I'm saying that this is kind of RStation based scam. So they are specific on this artworks, but in the beginning, as you can see in this uh, chat that I have a little bit uh, emails with one of those scammers, I wanted to get into, into the bottom of this. That's why I chatted with this guy. But they want to buy some of your arts because they like it very much. They are so inspired by your art, so they want to buy it. So this is the first red flag, but whatever. Let's go then. Then you say, okay, I'm, I'm up to that. And they say, I will pay $2,000 of each of your works. And they don't say anything about NFT. And you say, okay, okay, how can you do that? Because now you are excited that you, you should do this. Then they say, okay, you have to register in, in register in this website, which is something that you have never heard of. And it's NFT marketplace. Usually it's their NFT marketplace. They are running it. So they are having full control over the website. Usually it's not an NFT site, which is le legit. And if you are suggesting for them to use a legit one, they will usually do as the guy is doing in the email I will show you. It's very interesting because there are all the steps that the, those scammers are doing are in this email and we are going through, the, through them. It's very interesting. So I decided to go, uh, I had some time yesterday and I decided to go and answer one of those scammers and tell them that I'm okay with this. Let's do it. Let's pretend to, to go with him. But uh, at the end, of course, I didn't pay him anything, kind of make fun of him a little bit, but it doesn't matter. What matters is that uh, you shouldn't fall for that. You know, if somebody offered you to pay you a amount of like $500 or $2,000, sometimes $3,000 for one of your artworks, and he wants to buy like, or she wants to buy like five of them, usually it's not, uh, it's not true. Because when it's too good to be true, it's usually not true. It's fault. It's scam. It's a fake targeted to fake you out of your money. Because usually that's the case. How did they get the money though? It's interesting. Since this is the, this marketplace that they are making those NFTs that you have to put your artworks in their marketplace, they want some gas fees. They call them gas fees means that there are fees for uh, the transactions of the Ethereum because everything goes through Ethereum, which is a cryptocurrency. Uh, but you don't have a cryptocurrency wallet, no problem. The scammer will tell you exactly how to do it and what to do in order to get your hard earned money into Ethereum and then trans transfer them uh, to, to their site. In order to uh, upload your artwork, you need to pay some certain fee. It's very small fee. It's just $300 for each artwork, which means that for the first pay, you pay those $300 in Ethereum. It's untraceable. So you pay them, then you put your artwork there and they should buy it from you. And uh, they usually don't, or they uh, try to kind of scam you even more with some different methods, which I will not go into them because I haven't gone that far into this, but there are some, some articles in the internet about it. So let's go to, <laughs> the really interesting email. So uh, the guy, Harry G. Banks, approached me into my email and the email is called inquiry via RStation. So RStation is involved. Uh, RStation is not involved, but they are mentioning RStation, which means that they got the info from there. So it's legit from RStation. They are artists or they are collectors. Yes. First red flag is the email. The email is harryjbanks8 at gmail.com. So this email is too ordinary to be a true email, but whatever, it doesn't matter. They made it just for, for the case, probably. I really love the concept your page brings to me, and I would like to appreciate by pur purchasing some of the artworks. Please reply to me at feedback soon. Thank you. So this was not the best written thing since I got like one or two of those every week. So there are 
far better ones in terms of how they approach you with I'm too much appreciate your artwork. They are longer. They are explained. They are collectors. They want to do this. this a little bit more personal. It's messed up, but whatever. And I said, yes, of course you can. Then he told me that those artworks and those are my, my things from my art station. He told me here are the pieces of which I'm very interesting in they are so unique. He never mentioned my name, for example. There is no Hi Nikolai, or even if it was, it's just a more sophisticated hack or scammer. Here are the pieces of which I'm very interested. Uh, they are so unique. Okay, this could be a bot even. I'm not sure because these days the AI is so advanced. So this could be a person, could be an AI. But since he never got mad that much, because I was uh, a little bit, you know, but we'll see. I'm glad you like them, man. I plan on purchasing your art in digital format and digital artwork make use of a very active marketplace for the buying and selling of artworks for the community and I'm willing to offer $2,000 for each artwork if you would consider selling them to me in digital format as NFTs. So the first time he mentioned, I think NFTs is the third mail. I believe that this is a fair price and I'm confident that these pieces will go well in the NFT marketplace. So when you see this, usually when you're an artist, it's like feeding your ego, you know, because he's saying your art is worth it, $2,000 a piece. So I'm sure that your art will go well into the marketplace and say, oh, yes, 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 my art is worth that. Yes, yes, I will do it. But uh, usually, again, it's too good to be true. So be careful with your ego. It can lead you to bad places. I think I can accept your offer, answered I. Then, since I plan on purchasing them in digital format, I will suggest you list them in the marketplace for me to make solid solid purchase of them. Have you sold your works as NTF before, NFT before? So, I know because I read about those scams, since I get them every couple of weeks, every week, I at least try to understand what it is. So, I read about it. So, I know that they are offering always a marketplace which is not official, which is something completely unknown. And if you kind of suggest them official marketplace, they say, I have a bad experience with this mar marketplace. They are having too high uh, taxes. They are having this and this. Uh, I will suggest highly to use this, their marketplace. But whatever. No, I haven't. I'm saying no, I haven't. But I heard something about OpenSea Market. You know, OpenSea Market is, is this website, OpenSea, which is kind of legit for NFTs. I don't recommend anybody doing anything with NFTs because they also have this kind of uh, taxes to, to list your artworks there. And if you don't sell anything, you just lose money. So it's like, you know, so be careful with this thing. Then uh, he say, I made use of and would have loved to go with OpenSea, which is a popular marketplace, but I've had bad experience with them in the past. And they collected a lot of realities, which was like 10% of each work, which I sold at N NFTs. But I make use of Mint Taxis, which is this scammer site now, which is a good recommendation for you to list your artworks there because it involves only gas fees for your works so to be listed. So firstly, you go on the site, create a profile, and then get back to me. And also, every time your artwork is listed and some other things that uh, are irrelevant, he is kind of uh, convincing me that I will get a lot of money back, uh, from this. Even not only the first time I sell it, but every second time I, it's sold, every uh, next time it's sold, I will get more money from this. So I'm saying, wow, it's amazing. I will get so much money. I can live out of this NFT. No. And I just kind of left him for a couple of hours. And he was like, hello, how is it going? Uh, and I say, I'm doing good. And you? He said, have you created a profile on me? No, I haven't because I haven't chance to. I have urgent business to go right now. I was just playing with my daughter and doing some other stuff. So I didn't have time for this. Exactly. All right. Keep me updated when you're done. Okay. Hello again, man. I am in now how to proceed. So I, I was ready to proceed with the scam. The gas fee to mint on mint taxes is now he's mentioning the gas fee now. Uh, it's currently estimated to be around 0.17. So $300. This fee is required to cover the cost of transaction fees associated with minting your NFT on the blockchain. This is the main thing about the scam. So these gas fees are what the scammers are getting from you, usually. I want to ensure that you are aware of all the costs involved before we move forward. So he's been honest with me, uh, so I have to believe him, you know. 
do you have a crypto wallet? I say, I don't have, unfortunately, so yes, it was all in vain. I'm like, oh, too bad we cannot do it. Well, that can be sorted, he's saying here. So he has a solution. All you need to do is mine one artwork. After that, I'll make a solid purchase. And then with the balance of which I used in purchasing your work, you can purchase in your work, you can equally use it to mint the rest of your work. So he's saying that I will pay $300 in Ethereum. I will transfer the Ethereum to, to their site. Then I will be able to upload one of my artworks. And then he will pay for these artworks with Ethereum. The uh, Ethereum and a half, something like this, even less than that, but whatever, $2,000. And then from this $2,000, I will be able to uh, put all my other works and then he will pay for them. So it sounds very nice because after you pay just $300, then you will get like a couple of thousands of dollars, which usually is absolutely impossible but whatever it doesn't matter it sounds very nice and i will get rich soon so i'll just have to do the wallet i'm super excited yeah sounds very good but i don't have a crypto wallet sorry to waste your time man in this in this phase of our conversation i wanted to end it so i said sorry to waste your time man and he said I make use of MetaMask wallet and that's a good recommendation for you. You can download it from App Store. MetaMask is a wallet basically for cryptocurrency and it's fine. It's not a scammer's wallet or whatever, but the scammer is kind of uh, making sure he is giving me the easiest way to get into cryptocurrency, to get into this. So he would do anything. He would tell me all the steps I need to do to get a crypto wallet, to put money into crypto wallet, whatever it takes. If Even if my bank cannot allow me to go he will go and take me through the steps it's not in this mail but I've, I've read about it he will take me through some steps how to go around that and to put money in my wallet in order to buy ethereum and then to transfer them to their site hello how it's going because i didn't answer it for like three hours it's okay how are you i'm again i'm trying to piss him off a little bit <laughs> i'm acting super stupid I'm good. Have you downloaded your MetaMask from Google Play Store? Why should I download MetaMask from Google Play Store? In, in this case, in this particular moment, I was almost sure that he will get mad because it's like he told me why should I download this. And I'm now asking him again. You will have to download the MetaMask app for you to create a wallet and to enable it to mint your first artwork. And he was just, uh, you know, explaining again the things to me. And I'm uh, sick of this already. And I said, but wait. I thought you were a scammer that will not pay me anything, just want to take my money as Ethereum. I'm confused. And he said, no, this is not a scam. To show my commitment with this deal, I'm willing to offer $100 to help you out in my minting your first artwork. Well, I, I'm almost like, I'm, I'm like 50-50, this is AI. Almost, I'm like, maybe it's, I'm 60% sure it's AI, but whatever. Show my commitment with this deal. I'm willing to offer $100 to help you out in mining your first artwork wh while you will complete the other $200 of the purchase. Of course, a scammer will never say it's not a scam. He will always admit it and go to the corner and be ashamed. I'm mocking him, of course. But whatever, man. As I said, sorry to lose your time. But I was just interested in how this scam works and I had some free time today. I'm just being completely honest with this guy now, uh, or with this AI. I don't understand. Let's leave it at that. That's what I'm saying. Let's leave it at that. Let's stop here. But, so can we proceed? So obviously, uh, now I'm more than 60% sure it's AI, because usually a person will understand that it's useless. Can we proceed? And I say, of course we can proceed, because <laughs> why not? Go ahead and download MetaMask app and get back to me. Why should I download the MetaMask app? I'm let, like, you know, in this point, everything is possible. For you to be able to fund your marketplace in order to me, for me to purchase uh, the, your artworks. But why should you purchase my artworks, I'm saying. I'm a professional NFT collector and I would really need to buy a few of our artworks for my exhibition. Really? Wow, I'm flattered. Should I give you my PayPal address, I'm saying now. Because why not? You know, I'm, I'm just completely out of the everything, you know. I can't pay using your PayPal, but I only pay with my NFT marketplace wallet and something something. Not a problem, I understand. Have you downloaded the MetaMask? What is MetaMask? MetaMask is a software cryptocurrency wallet used to interact with Ethereum blockchain uh, bullshit. Why do I want to meet my artwork though? Uh, este es muy complicado. Uh, I'm not sure that this is completely the, the right way to say it in Spanish, but whatever. 
Please, all these questions are much. I think I will stop here. That's what you had to do a couple of messages ago, I'm saying. And this ends the conversation. Obviously, the AI, probably it's AI, kind of understood that <laughs> this is going nowhere. But the idea is that I have made even registration on their site, the site that he showed me. The registration was with uh, not my usual passwords or whatever, because you know, they can get everything, like the password and everything. So you have to be very careful when you make registration, even for fun and for the heck of it. You have to be careful with those things. I probably am not ultra careful, but I'm trying to be at least relatively careful. So this is the scam. And uh, hopefully you will not uh, get, fall for it because it's just about taking your money. All the scams, of course, are for taking your money. And they will use your ego against you. They will use your wish to get famous, your wish to get money fast, uh, to get rich. They will use that against you. So just keep those feelings, keep those ego things and everything in check. And also at the end, I wanted to show you just uh, what I'm uh, doing right now. I'm just practicing some arm anatomy stuff. Why? Because I will do a course about it. And recently I haven't done too many courses, as you know, probably. But I will try to do them. Uh, other, all of my courses you can find in the description of this video. Bye for now and see you in the next video as always.